Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. At least 10 people were killed amid nationwide protests across Iran which have entered the fifth day, Iranian State TV reports. In the events last night, unfortunately a total of 10 people were killed in several cities, State TV said in a package aired on Monday without elaborating as cited by Reuters. According to the report, security forces repelled protesters who attempted to take over police stations and military bases. Some armed protesters tried to take over some police stations and military bases, but faced serious resistance from security forces, it said, as cited by AP. The report, however, did not specify the location of the attacks. Earlier on Monday, a local MP from the southwestern Iranian town of Izde told the uh, Ilna news agency that two people were killed during mass rallies that brought to at least four the number of fatalities on the, in the ongoing protests but the first two deaths were reported on sunday by the authorities in the city of dor dorud that's uh, actually dorud okay they've uh, spelled it two different ways here 325 kilometers southwest of tehran now we're f over 400 people have reportedly been arrested following the protests now last sunday iranian president hassan rouhani said that the citizens are absolutely free to protest and criticize the government, but the protest should not descend into violence. Criticism is different from violence and damaging public properties, Rouhani warned, calling for the rioters to refrain from disruptive behavior. So now uh, 10 people have been dead in uh, recent protests here. And it leaves me wondering, folks, uh, is the CIA behind these in an attempt to overthrow the, uh, the current sitting government in Iran? It's just the thought that has hit me that maybe these young people are being uh, motivated in some way by uh, forces that uh, don't originate from their own nation, you could say. Something to consider. Um, could this spread outside of Iran? Uh, how large will this grow? What will be the end result of this? Something we certainly need to keep an eye on, ladies and gentlemen. But I will leave you a link. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. And uh, please share it if you feel so led to. I'd appreciate it. But most importantly of all, these are perilous times within this maelstrom that we are living. So do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. If you live in America, you're a character in Fortress, a Wayfarer story. It's gritty, it's edgy, it's timely, and it's today. It's fiction that the deep state does not want you to read. What will you do if this story comes true? Get it in Kindle and paperback at the link in the description area below this video.